With the boom in vehicle dash cams, it can be difficult to choose one from the hundreds of different variants available. Although if you're after something affordable yet reliable enough to get the job done, the Asdome DAB211 could be right up your street. There are a couple of dual camera systems on the market, but if you're happy with a single front-facing camera solution, then the DAB211 by Asdome could be a safe bet. Plastic in construction and matte black in colour so as to not attract unwanted attention, the unit itself is rather compact and lightweight, small enough to hide under your rearview mirror for instance. The 2.31 inch screen dominates the front of the unit. Although note that this is not a touch sensitive display, hence the buttons lining the bottom of the camera for controlling and setting various features and functions. All rather plasticky, but with a tactile click they get the job done. On one side we find a micro USB port for powering the device alongside a single power button and a reset and microphone pinhole. On the opposite side is a HDMI output alongside the micro SD memory card slot, bearing in mind you'll need to provide your own class 10 card as one isn't supplied with the unit. The rest of the unit is covered with ventilation holes for cooling and around the back we find the f1.8 150 degree wide angle lens, attached to a pivot for easy repositioning. Backed by an Amber a12 chipset and an OV4689 16 megapixel image sensor, the unit boasts video capture at up to 1440p HDR, which should allow for some sharp video capture. The DAB211 also supports a built-in GPS module, a parking mode, a night vision mode and a G sensor to automatically save recordings after a collision so that they are not overwritten. All pretty standard dash cam stuff. The menu system is pretty simple too. The camera starts up and starts recording automatically when power is applied, with lots of useful information on display around the outer edge of the screen, such as current settings, mode and so on. As stated, the screen isn't touch sensitive so we need to use the buttons to navigate around, but saying that it is rather easy with a menu for changing video capture and general dash cam settings, and a second menu for general camera settings. All pretty simple and straightforward stuff. Note that I could only access the menu with the memory card removed though, so I'm unsure how you can format the card which makes that function a little pointless. Nevertheless, mounting is pretty easy too thanks to the included accessories. Here we have a choice of adhesive mounts which are easily adjustable, or a suction cup, either of which slide and lock into the rear of the camera unit. Also included is a cigarette adapter for power, along with a long USB cable to run around your windscreen. You'll even find cable clips included to keep things nice and neat. And when it comes to using the camera, you can pretty much forget it's even there. It'll power up along with the vehicle and automatically start recording, and likewise power down when you switch the vehicle off too. Left alone, the system will continue to record in the background, and once the card fills up, it'll loop the video, meaning it'll overwrite the oldest data first, so always keeping the newest recordings on the card. When it comes to video quality, it's not the best I've come across, but it's enough to make out good levels of detail in the image. Colours are all there and are relatively true to life, no major concerns there, although I would have liked to have seen things a tad sharper across the board. When it comes to low light, the small sensor does its best to produce a decent image, albeit with plenty of grain as you'd expect, but again enough to pick out some detail in the image, although naturally the more light you can throw at it the better. As it stands it's certainly not the best I've seen, but in its current price range it does a pretty good job overall. As the camera just starts recording as soon as power is applied, I couldn't find a way to play back captured footage on the unit itself. The manual says to press the mode button, but that just creates a saved event. Thankfully we can play back content directly on a computer though, which is easy enough thanks to the adoption of the standard MP4 format. For more detailed playback, a black box viewer application is freely downloadable from Asdome's site, and once installed provides more detailed information using the GPS data held within each file, such as map and speed information. All in all, for a single front facing camera solution for your vehicle, this is a pretty decent unit that contains all the basics. It's quick to set up, easy to use and does the job pretty well. Yes I would have liked to have seen a sharper image, but as it stands it doesn't seem to disappoint at its current price range. With built in GPS and G4 sensors you get a well featured dash camera that's easy to recommend.